By the way, there won't be any school shooting if the parents are homeschooling their kids. Right. That is the yeah. principle in the Bible. There won't be any school shooting if there's no public school. Amen. By the way, when there is some school shooting, the politicians always want to lean back and propagate the gun control. The problem is not about the gun, it's about the heart. Right. We should turn our nation to God. Amen. Yeah. It will reach to a point when it's too late to be saved. I'm not saying you can lose your salvation, but sometimes it will reach to a point you will lose the chance to even be saved. There will be a time when you try to seek God and you can't find Him. Mm -hmm. There will be a time when you're trying to Believe on God, but you cannot believe because God hardened your heart. Amen. You know, the Pharisees could not believe. Don't get me wrong. Everyone who believes in God can be saved. But there are people who could not believe. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We are the salt of this world. We can preserve the matter if we share the gospel with every single creature as Christ commanded. Okay. What if we can reach the on time? You know, we cannot endorse preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's the power of God and salvation. Only Jesus can say, Jesus says he's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the God. He's the beginning and the end. He's the Alpha and the Omega. We should turn this to God. You know, whenever the gun shooting, you know, we should change people's heart. Not advocate gun control. Because the problem is not about gun. The problem is we have a hardened heart. Our nation should turn our direction to God and pitch our tent toward God, not in Sodom. Because our nation is going downhill so fast. The Bible is in Judge 19. The Bible says, consider of it. Take your lives and speak your mind. I'm speaking my mind tonight. And you should be able to stand upon the truth. Stand upon the pillar and ground of the truth. Because our only future depends on us. Alright? We are the salt by the light. To spread out, we should plant new churches throughout the globe. Preach the gospel of Christ with the power of salvation to everyone that believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek and also to the Chinese also, okay? <laughs> that was in Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We are the light. We are the salt. Do you know what salt does? Salt adds flavor. Salt also irritates, alright? We should irritate the world in a good way. We should irritate them. We should preach the gospel. We should preach the truth. Listen, truth get more offended. That's why they crucify Christ. So we should not stay away. Listen, if I preach this sermon in, in the old IP church, in the liberal evangelical church, they will probably kick me out. It's because people don't like the truth. But there are also 7,000 men from their body to the image of Baal. There are still a remnant elect by grace. Amen. We should go out, we should fight for the gospel of Christ. But, but don't get me wrong, judgment is going to come, but we can preserve it. We can make it a little longer. Judgment is going to come because God is a just God. He is also a loving God. You know, God is slow to anger. He is merciful God. He is gracious. God is going to withhold His judgment as long as we are the soul. We are preserving the nation. But there will be one day, there probably won't be enough believers in our country. There might be one day when there are not even 10 people in Sodom. When God will rain, fire, and bring them. When Jesus Christ is going to bring the judgment. It's our job as Christians because God has given us the ministry of reconciliation, right? Yeah, yeah. We should pull them out of the fire, out of the hell fire, to make sure every single person we know can get a clear presentation of the gospel message. We don't have to repent of your sins. All we need is turn, repent, and believe. It's a free grace. It's not cheap grace. It's a free grace. We should turn to God, turn our nation to God, so that they would not suffer the wrath of God. So that people who, when they're still young, would not be given to every mind, so that they can be saved, they can be joined in 
the big family, in the same family of Christ. The Bible of that was light, so shine upon men. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.